course, the, they wanted to see more of the inside of my crime's head, and, um, I mean, I'm going to try my best, <laughs> because, um, really, um, towards the back, I got it taped, because I got it taped to the little holes and taped to secure the, their human virus. So I got, I got this, um, Sphere Fire pump, it, when it's on, it keeps this LED light in, so really, um, the air goes through here, and it has to, I had an air diffuser, but it broke, but it's just the tube, but it makes a lot of more bubbles, and it, and then, the humidified air will go through here, and go to here, and then we'll, will split up from one side to the other. Another thing I got is all other plugs are in are in this um and then I got a time I got the timer that is on the the heater that I'm using can't really see it because um because I got I got this thing that covers the back. It looks really plain without it. It looks really good. So I'm gonna try my best to open it. So I have to disconnect this tube first. I don't really like keeping it open just because the, the heat and humidity will come out. So. I got this, um, I'm so glad that I found these from Bath and Body Work, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Nemo was, Nemo loved it last night, and Nemo really loved it, so he stood there last night, so this is what it looks like on the inside, this is the light that I have, and, um, this is cast a pink, so here's what it looks like on the inside. I have the two of them on it. And here's the tubes, the tube that comes out of it. So I try my best to put it in there. See, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's not much. It's, it's... It keeps a lot of hiding places for them. <laughs> I I believe that a little bit of cluttered is more better because it gives them um, more places to hide. So really, this is salt water, this is salt water pool, the one to the back is fresh water. And I have a, a natural coconut that I that I made into a hut, and then they actually they like it. And the big log hide is like go way to the back right there. There's a big log hide right there. It's, they really go into a log hide. During the daytime when they have their dormants, they, they, they go inside the big log hide. And then they kind of create on the sand. So the inch depth of the substrate, if you could see my hand. Towards the poles, it's a little bit deeper. Towards the other side, it's a bit deeper still. But all the way towards the back, it's deeper. Over time, it settles. But I still have some under. I, st I still have Greta. I, st bleh, I still have Hexes and Lexi under. So I was thinking when they all come up, when they're all up, when the Hexes and Lexi come up, I was thinking that I would do a deep clean. That I would take these, put these ones in there. Well, it's it's fun keeping her in my crabs, and 
giving them a nice habitat to be in. It is fun. Like I was talking about the youth is this one is from um Zimed and it's like a, t a 20 gallon a, a 10 to a 20 gallon so from top to bottom it is like this big and from side to side it's about the same length of my hand well that's pretty much to it